Hi guys, so in this video we are going to uh, implement Life Agent in the CurioBot conversation. Um, we've written an, uh, an article about that on the QB Academy, uh, but uh, that still led to some confusion as we heard. So uh, we are going to do a little video to help you guys get going. Um, in this video, uh, I'm actually only walking through the steps as they are currently already available on the QB Academy. Um, so that means that uh, I'm following the steps uh, of the article switching between live chat and curio bot. And for that, there are actually two things that we're assuming. Uh, one is that uh, there is or there will be a curio bot running on your website. And you, of course, also need to have an account at Live Agent. Um, because if you don't have that and you don't have some stuff uh, configured in there, then um, uh, the whole uh, show will not get on the road. Um, however, I will also incorporate a few steps on what to do within uh, a live agent um, so you will uh, get this whole thing going as soon as possible. So let's kick off with that. Uh, first one up in the uh, QB control room, I used the uh, start from scratch uh, template and I've added a rating question uh, since it is probably good to have a question ready after Live Agent has been launched. Um, um, I made the first one a multiple choice question, doesn't really matter, but the first step type is a multiple choice question asking what somebody would like to do, and then the choice is between launching live agent and continue chatting with uh, QB. In both cases, they are moving on to the uh, rating step type asking what you think of this. Um, then, within Life Agent, I am, uh, of course, not uh, going to go through your account for a very long time, uh, but what you do need to do to get uh, the uh, configuration together with CurioBot going is to go to the Configuration tab, and then within the Configuration tab, you need to go to the Chat button, and there you need to create one. Uh, reason for that is that basically CurioBot pushes that uh, button for you, um, when uh, the little pieces of code have been implemented um, and that will cause the activation of live chat. So in the configuration step, you can go to the section chat, you can click on chat buttons, you click on create. And since we already have one, uh, we will uh, edit uh, this one because what we need from this section are um, the uh, elements on the integration tab being the... Uh, link as it is in here as well as the id which is this one here so um i will leave this screen open um to uh, easily copy paste uh, everything and in this example i've just made a, a quick template on a squarespace website so if you follow the article then um we have a Q curio bot we have a, a live agent account and then we have this piece of code which needs to be entered before the end of the head section in the html page so what i've done here and i went into the um, advanced uh, section and then in the code injection within Squarespace is before the header, I've copied and pasted this part right here. So this whole thing I inserted in there. And then you'll see that uh, there are a few things that you need to add. One is the URL. So this one right here, and this one you need to copy from the integration of the, the chat button so that is this link and then you need to make sure that you have the id going after the create button and that is that number which you can find here and then in this case within squarespace you can hit save um, the only thing then what you still need to do is make sure that a curio bot knows uh, what to uh, do and uh, step two of this article uh, is that uh, the uh, response uh, JavaScript needs to be selected and this little code as a matter of fact this one here needs to be inserted so if I go into the QB control room and I want live chat to be activated after somebody has selected launch live agent and then the bot response when you select a new one you select script and then you copy and paste that one 
in there. Um, what I've done for this example here is I've entered the, the QB uh, embed code in uh, the footer. It's not entirely as it should, but then you have an idea of how everything looks. So let me refresh that because this is basically all you need to do. And I'm just doing this in the preview right now to be a little bit easier because that was actually the final step of this article. So we have the queue we implemented. Might take a second to load, but since it's a website preview, it doesn't really matter that much. So there's the QB on the bottom right. Now just start it like this. It will first say hi, and starting with the multiple choice question, what I would like to do. I would like to launch Live Agent, and it immediately disappears, and the screen opens here on the left. Now you have the applicable sound. So I'm closing this, and you see that it automatically pulls back QB with the following rating question. Yeah, that's right. That's a five star out of five stars. Um, good to keep in mind when you are building the um, buttons and also the chat window is make sure that you go on this one and that you um, put the position on the bottom left so there is no overlap between a curio bot and uh, the uh, life agent chat window. I hope this uh, was uh, helpful. Uh, thanks for. Next.